Okay, so you need to figure out how many keywords you need in each ad group in your AdWords campaign. So there's a few different ways we can we can think about this, and I'm going to walk you through what I do. So if we go into our white label campaign here, our example campaign we've been using, go into ad groups, you can see here, we'll just peek in and see what, what we're doing here. So you can see we got only a couple keywords, just different match types. So <clears throat> there's there's some different... There isn't really a set amount that you should be going for. What you should be worrying about is the quality. So you can see we got some more in this one, and these were, and this is with all, uh, all the match types that we use. For, and well, in this campaign, we're only using phrase and exact match, but you can see we got twenty five. But it's actually half of that because there's two of each. So the most important thing to get away from right now is just worrying about how many keywords you should have in each ad group. Don't even think about that. Worry about the quality and the intent of the keyword. Okay, so this is not really a great example for this. So let's go into our XYZ roofers campaign, the example campaign. So if we go into flat roofing ad group, so you can see here flat roof contractor, flat roofers, flat roofing company, flat roofer service. See, these are these are higher intent keywords or people that have a specific a specific goal in mind while they're searching this, all right. They need a flat, they, maybe they have a commercial store or they have a, a retail spot in the plaza or something like that. So they're looking for a flat roofer to come fix the issue they're having or reseal the roof or it's leaking or, or whatever. The point is they have high intent, okay? So that's that's what you want to build your ad groups with is high intent keywords only. So what's a, what's a non-high intent keyword? Well, let's just see what Google says because they're usually always wrong. If we put in flat roofer there's a great one so I would add that in so flat roof coating that is a not high intent keyword and it gets search volume but get, that's somebody looking for coating on their it could be a product it could be it, it, it might not even be a roofer you know what I mean that's just a gamble that I'm not willing to take in an ad group okay so this is something that if I'm not sure if it's going to be a good keyword or not, and it's, it's going to bring relevant traffic of people actually looking for a roofer and not just some product you can buy at Home Depot and spray on your roof, I'm going to take this, put it in its own ad group, and bid really, really low and see if it brings any conversions. And, and that's what I, that's what I would do with non-high intent keywords, and that's what you should be doing too. Like here, so here's a great high intent keyword: flat roof leak repair. So here's an, here's another one that's not high intent: flat roof sealant. Okay. So that's something I would put in its own ad group too and bid very low and see what that does because it's just something that could just bring crap traffic and it's not going to turn into anything and you'll waste your money. Or it might bring something. So that's why you got to test it. AdWords is all about testing. That's the most important point I can drive through in this video. You have to test everything because if you just try something once and it doesn't work and you throw your hands in the air, it, those are the people who AdWords never works for. You just got to keep testing and adapting to it. So... The answer to, the, to the, the reason you search this video, how many keywords you have in an ad group, is simple. It doesn't matter. It's all about how in, high intent they are. We have ad groups that have one to five keywords in them, and we have ad groups that have 100. So it, it really just depends on the niche you're in and, and, um, and your intent of the keywords. So you just got to keep that in mind and, and properly using the match types correctly. So I'm I'm praying that you guys have already watched those videos because if you don't if you use the wrong match types in your ad groups you're going to get steamrolled by Google. And if you don't know about keyword match types in AdWords, I'm going to put a link below this video to our video where I go through all the different match types and how they work. It's very 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 important that you understand that. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up if you can. I really appreciate that. 